Hey, Mr. Logs. I'm trying to refine my ability to make a deck, and I think I'm getting better. Do you have any tips for deck building? I'm currently making Pendulum Magician decks. If it helps, maybe I have a specific tip for my deck. Pendulum Magician? Oh, that one's like very xenophobic to staples. General tips for deck building? Sure, I can do that. Someone remind me after this, this duel's over and I'll go over them. I'll give you guys all of the best tips for deck building. I'll show you guys how to be the best deck builder ever. Do tips, please? Oh, you guys want to learn some tips? Wait, hold on. I just got a very important ping in Discord. Okay, yeah, this was definitely worth looking at. So apparently, Rosami just dropped some new merch. No, I think it's just the merch they had before is on sale. I already bought all this. Okay, never mind. False alarm. The simp logs? Only for Rosami. Wait, you guys are otakus? No. Imagine being otaku cringe. So, here's some advice. Here's some deck building advice. We're going to go over the best deck building advice ever. I'm going to show you guys how to win every game that you've ever had. So, advice number one. Where are your hand traps? Why are you not playing hand traps? Let me show you my deck. This is by far the best deck I have. You want to know why this is the best deck I have? Let, let's count the hand traps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Did you count that? 13 hand traps? We also have two anti hand traps. Do you want to know why this is the best deck I have? It's because it can play all these hand traps while still doing their engine. That's one of the first things you want to look at. Can my deck afford to play 20 hand traps? If the answer to that question is no, then answer your question, why not? How come I can't play 20 hand traps? Why do I not want to play 20 hand traps? Is it because I don't like hand traps? No, it's because my deck can't fit them in. For example, if we have like virtual worlds, virtual worlds is a good example. Virtual worlds require other copies of virtual worlds to be on the field in order to use their effects. So you need to play a lot of virtual world. You don't need that one in order to do their things. So like these are all the main deck virtual world cards. And then you also have the these virtual world cards. Like you need to play these cards in order to play the deck. Otherwise it just doesn't function. So then you just do your, your ratios from there. It's like, how many hand traps can I remove or how many main engine pieces can I remove? And usually the answer is um, what you get with your deck. That's basically modern deck building is playing all of these cards and then putting your engine inside of it. However, there are some cases where this doesn't work. Like take the Monster Eye FTK, for example. There's no hand traps in here. They're unnecessary to the win condition. They just don't work. Or even if we go over to, um, where's my Gishki FTK deck at? Do I still have it or did I delete it? Oh no, it's over here. The Gishki FTK. There's also no hand traps here either because it just doesn't need it. There are just some decks where that's just not their strategy and they just kind of power through it in other ways. So like even if we look at the Cubics over here, Cubics are a deck that require tons of cards in their hand to do their things because like their main boss monster requires you to reveal three other Cubic cards in your hand which means you need to have four cubic cards in your hand. And in order to have four cubic cards in your hand, you need to play a lot of cubic cards to guarantee the result of having those many cubic cards. And plus, some of their best cards are just milling a whole bunch of oh, to the no. graveyard, like Reasoning and Monster Gate. So if they played hand traps, they would just be summoning those cards, which they can't do. And because the inherent design of cubics revolves around this system of both having to play a whole bunch of cubic cards and needing to play as little monsters as possible, they are inherently flawed in that they can't work with modern hand traps, which lowers their playability by a significant ton. Maxi with Eldritch? I'm getting to it. So there's also another thing called Floodgates. I don't have the thing anymore, but I used to have one. Let me open up e Edo Pro. So Floodgates, let me open up uh, Edo Pro. I used to have a button for this, but I don't anymore. So this is every single Floodgate that exists in the game. If you don't want to play Hand Traps, you go to this list over here and you think, which one of these can I play in my deck because I don't want to play Hand Traps? <laughs> so. Floodgates do this thing. You know how if you end on a board of like three negates because you're playing a meta deck? But what if you end on a board that had 15 negates? 15 negates in the form of like Artifact Scythe, where you can't summon 15 times. You just stop your opponent from playing the game. That's better than any negate. But in these decks, usually you have to go first because if you go second, your opponent already has established board. They can just destroy all your cards or negate them before you can activate them. There, there is problems with playing floodgates too. It's not a perfect solution. Hand traps are better because you can guarantee to have them if you go first or second. And then there's the distinction of going first or second. If you want to go first, most decks do want to go first. That's why we have the hand traps thing. But there are going second cards. Um, I don't think I have them all saved in over here. So let's go back over to Master Duel and we go over to this temp. So we have a list of cards that are called going second cards that are only good going second when your opponent has an established board. Cards like Lightning Storm, Forbidden Droplet, and um, 
Nibiru to an extent, but it's also uh, like evenly matched is an excellent going second card. So is the Winged Dragon of Ross Sphere Mode. Like these are the premier going second cards. Sphere Mode, Droplets, Evenly Matched, and Lightning Storm. And also there's one other one. Well, Raigeki is technically a going second card. So is Harpy's Feather Duster, but there's another one. Uh, this one right here, Dark Ruler No More. So these are all the going second cards. Like you don't want to bother with hand traps and you want your deck to go second. So what happens is your opponent is setting up an unbreakable board of cards and you have to decide, how am I going to break that board? Two of the easiest ways to do is Forbidden Droplets to Dark Ruler No More because it turns off all of their effects. The problem is that Dark Ruler No More makes it so you can't win that turn, which is usually enough of a detriment where people just don't play it. And then Forbidden Droplet obviously has a detriment where you need to discard a bunch of cards. So there is a cost to it, but there, as long as your deck is able to do its engine with as few cards as possible, you can just negate the choice ones and your opponent can't respond to it. There's also like evenly matched. Like what if your opponent only has one negate for evenly matched? Like maybe they only have Baron and all the other cards just negate monster effects because most of them do. Most of the negates only work on monsters. So what you can do is just open up a infinite impermanence, negate that one effect, or of course force them to negate it because it's a trap card, enter the battle phase, go into evenly match and get rid of everything else, or you know, lightning storm. Or even the winged dragon of Ross sphere mode. This just gets rid of all of that without any of the problems and you just lose your normal summon in the process. Or even gamma seal or pangratops. Pangratops is an excellent going second card. Because you summon it out, 2600 attack, it just fights over something, and your opponent has to use one of their disruptions in order to stop it, in which case you can just chain its destruction effect to get rid of something else. You're almost guaranteed to remove one of your opponent's resources with Pangratops. So, th these are the things you have to keep in mind when you're when you're deck building. Can my deck play 20 hand traps? If not, can I play, you know, 9 going second cards? If not, then can I... is my deck like an, in an engine where it doesn't need those cards? Usually those are just called gimmick decks. Gimmick decks are usually the ones where they don't use any of that. Toma. So if we look at some of my decks over here, Cynet Storm, Heavenly Prison, if you look at it, you see, oh, look, there's no conventional hand traps and also there's no floodgates. How do you win with this deck? You don't. <laughs> this is a gimmick. <laughs> there's hand traps, sure. There's Maxi, there's Ghost Sister, there's no floodgates and there's no real going second cards either. So this deck's win condition is uh, Adventure, which isn't a win condition. So if we go over to, to this deck over here, let's see, where are the hand traps? Uh, they don't exist. Where are the going second cards? Uh, they don't exist. Where are the floodgates? Uh, they don't exist. How do you expect to win? Oh, you don't. Okay. VW Adventure. <gasps> Look, there's hand traps. There's a lot of them. And there's going second cards. This deck is built to win. Oh my goodness. I bet this one wins a lot. Spriggan Live, live Twins. <gasps> Wow, there's like half the deck is hand traps. This deck will probably perform very well, and it does. This is my best performing deck. And then over here, what about this one? This one has Adventure and Dogmatica in it. This one seems like it'd be better, right? Well, actually, since it plays a lot less hand traps, it's not. <laughs> this is straight up worse than the Live Twin version because it has less hand traps. You can drastically improve the playability of your deck depending on how many hand traps you put in, how many floodgates you put in, or how many going second cards you put in, and you have to build your deck around those things. So if you don't have any hand traps, or you're not trying to go second, or you're not trying to floodgate your opponent, then you're probably not trying to win. And there's the crash course on how to build excellent decks. So anyways, here's my Melfi deck that has none of that Palma. in it. 